Right, so we're at Prestatting Sailing Club at the moment. Aren't we, Jim? Yes. And what are we going to do? Go fishing. Oh, there's no sailboats here either. <laughs> I don't think there ever is. Right, yes, yeah, so we're going to go fishing. What are we going to catch? Fish. Fish. Big fish. Let's take home and eat. What do you reckon? Mm. shallow really because the tractor can only go so deep so because we're launching at low water uh, we had to basically do it out and then sort of get our way out the waves are coming over here's all good fun that yeah we made it we made it right so we've been given a good mark off jamie cheers jamie so somewhere near moston dock so we're going to be heading towards there right let's go fishing <laughs> I think it's like a good day to go steady in, so we're going to get wet. I think it's because the wind's coming from that, from off our starboard side, and then it's blowing it all over us. So our goal today is to try and catch something we've not caught before. It's just not hard because we haven't caught that many fish. <laughs> but we're going to go and try have a go at law fishing and see if we can get some bass. Yay. Simon really wants to find one, catch one, take it home and cook it. Eat it. Well, I don't eat fish. <laughs> but I understand that primal sort of thing to like go and catch your own food yeah. and cook it. So that is today's plan. But we know plans never go to plan. So let's just see what we find. Right, so you've got a lure on there. I am going to go and set up another rod, maybe with a bigger hook, and we'll catch something bigger as well. So I'm going to try one of these quality time fishing rigs, which is for a Solent bass. Um, wow. We're not in the Solent, so... They might be on holiday, though. <laughs> they might be on holiday. Uh, <laughs> so I'll try that. What bait do you think we should use? We've got fresh lug, freshly dug from Jamie at the club, so thank you very much. We've got some lug. Start with that. We've got some sprats, we've got some squid, and we've also got some more lug, haven't we? So, try some of the fresh. I find law fishing a bit. It kind of feels pointless. I think it's because I've never caught anything off a law before. So it kind of feels like you're just sort of like sat there doing something for nothing. So hopefully one day all of a sudden it goes. <laughs> I think it'll be that exciting when it does. Oh, you caught somewhere. Yeah. So, yeah, we're using one of these, one of these wedgie things that Mark from Cox and Roll sent us out. That try. is the casting wedge. Casting wedge, so... I don't know. 
But we've got loads of different laws to try. Yeah. You want me to sink? I'm guessing you want to sink first. And I'm also watching the Ray Marine as well, see if anything big comes past. I don't know what they want to do if it said there was something big going past. But... So what we've done is we put um, our multipliers down with the bass rigs and we put a lug worm on them. And then on our pen fixed spool reels, we are doing a bit of law fishing, trying to get a bass. I still think it's kind of pointless. It just feels so pointless. <laughs> I, I do think it, it doesn't feel right yeah, to well, be like shaking your rods all the time. What can you use? I'm using this one. That's a sidewinder. Oh, okay. And I've still got the Cox and Rule casting wedge on, but I've also put some lug on it. Ah. I think it is going to be exciting the first time we catch something on a lug because we've never ever done it before. I think it'd be a miracle. <laughs> What's faith I've got in it? You have to get here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Oh, yeah, there's some big fish marker at the top. Is this where a wicked tuna starts going beep, 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 beep. And then you go this click, 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 click. Yeah. <laughs> here's this little, little, little coffee farm's last room. Oh, fishies. I want to wheel in and cast back to where them big ones have just come over the back of the boat. Debbie. The ocean to cast out in the wind. <laughs> I was, I was so. Yeah, the professionals are going to look on and go. They, they, they know what they're doing. Them. No worries. I think it's like. Oh, look, look at how they get 21st place in there. <laughs> it's a lot. It's not Oh, I do just want to catch a fish on the law. We just had a little seal just pop his head up right behind us. So I don't know if that's a good sign. Is it a good sign because there's fish here and he's feeding or has he ate them all? <laughs> I don't know. Where's he gone? I don't want to catch him. I was like, what's that? Is it a boy? <laughs> little seal's head. There's a girl. Imagine this. not going very well this fishing is it? No, we're not very good at this. It's we're... now quarters to two. Yeah, we've been out for a couple of hours. Um, but we're not too far away from a very cool boat, are we? Mm. That boat being Surinda, our boat. So, it's literally over there somewhere. So while we're here, we've got the water to get in and get back out again. So we may as well have a quick look, haven't we? Okay, so what we'll do is we'll get our rods in. We'll go over and see Surinder and then come back and we'll go to a, a top secret mark. The one where we caught fish last time. Yeah, that one. <laughs> I'm hoping that they're still there. They're still there. <laughs> still there thinking about mid for a while to feed us some worms. Right. There's nothing's going on here, is it? No. no. And it's the first, it's the longest we've ever been on the boat without catching any fish. It's a bit disheartening, isn't it? We thought it was just like so easy catching fish. But today, no, not feeding. Right, okay. There's, there's power lines that we're going to do some adventures and stuff. Yeah. Right, so we're basically heading up here to where there's a lot of crosses. You might not be able to see it because that's where Surinder is. We are here now. So we're going to be heading over this, over this bank here. Um, this, so this technically dries out all this green bit here. 
So we're going to be heading up. We know there's a channel across here, so that's the plan. We're going to be going over, but what we need to do is keep an eye on the depth, don't we? So you're just going to go nice and steady then? Nice and steady, which is, is, is oh, it's going up. So we've got 8.8 .8 meters at the moment. Yeah. So if we were to get stuck, we're still, we're not quite at high water yet, so we're still, we can still get her off. I can see Surinder from here. Oh yeah. So we're in the GS3 at the moment. Oh, the new planks on a I'm like a proud dad. <laughs> So this, <laughs> this little fishing boat here feels a lot bigger than the boat we're used to coming in and out of with down here, aren't we? Yeah. Our, our little tender. So you just tell So that. is there any fish around here? There's lots of bubbles. Uh, they're quite hard targets then. I don't know, I don't trust it. There are probably loads of crabs. They look crab shape. <laughs> Fink, look at all that fish on the fish pond. I think we might be into some bait fish. What do you reckon? Might be some mackerel or something like that, might it? So give it a try. Put some feathers on. So apparently there are no fish in the sea. So instead we thought, let's go and have a look at what else we can find in the sea. So we're gonna go and have a look at the wind turbines. And we've got a little hitchhiker with us. So uh, Mr. B is coming on a little journey too. <laughs> and it's a bit rough. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. It never ever looks rough on camera, does no. it, to see what it... Well, we're sort of limited to about 15 knots. Yeah. Otherwise we start taking off. <laughs> I've got an electric boat, wouldn't it? Plug into that. Um, what happens if it falls off? <laughs> yeah. So, here's a little fun fact for you. About what? 15 years ago, Simon and I used to work on the wind turbines. Yeah. Not in the middle of the sea, actually. No, the, in, yeah, the inland ones. ones, yeah. Wow. Look how many there is. They just go on forever. Right, so we're now fishing in the middle of the wind turbines, which is pretty cool. When you get up close to them, they're proper cool, aren't they? Ooh. 
Ooh, ooh. Um, but so we're just drifting again. We've not anchored all day. Um, still not caught anything. So I think if in the future, if we don't catch anything, we're gonna next time we come fishing, we're gonna try anchoring. But we'll probably when we go back to the club, we'll find out if anyone else has caught any fish, and we'll see if it's just us or not. But we tried a, an all manner of sort of feed for them. We've tried black wormy luggy things, some sprats, some squid. What else we tried? That's it. That's it. That's all we've got. So that's all we can do. There's no fish in the sea. No fish in the sea, apparently. It's almost quite relaxing not catching fish. We're not really used to not catching fish because it's all, all hell breaks loose once you catch a fish. But all we've done is sat all day, we've not had to anchor, no stresses along that, them parts. What I've been sort of thinking, you start trying to think like a fish, don't you? It's, there's no scent trail, is there? Because we're drifting, so all the scent comes basically with us, doesn't it? With the water. Um, so, yeah, hopefully we catch something, but if we don't, we've learned a, a valuable lesson. Gemma, Gemma's eating some crisps there, aren't you? What are you eating? Remember earlier on when I was packing, and I said, should I pack a chair? And you said no. Well, you've got a chair? I've got a little bottle. That's your part of that. <laughs> anyway, anyway, it's just quite, it's quite chilled really. So it's quite big swells. I'm saying a lot of big swells, big tours, but the boat doesn't seem to really care too much. We're just rock, bobbing around on the water. And I'm just making sure we don't crash into a wind turbine drifting. Yeah, we're drifting. Like, we have to keep like looking back. How mad is it to be in the middle of the ocean, just surrounded by loads of wind turbines? Oh, they're all making money, aren't they? But I'm not quite sure how you measure swells. I think they're like, is it from the, the absolute peak to the trough, maybe? I'd say we've had some like one, one meters. Mm. At the moment, we're probably like seven, 750 mil at the moment, but. It's choppy. Yeah. Oh well. You kind of feel like you have to produce fish, don't you? But we're just used to catching fish. <laughs> well, in the whole long. three times we've been out. How many times have you been out? Three times? Well, Three or four times, isn't it? Yeah, or well, four times, isn't it? Got a blank someday, haven't you? Looks like today is the day. Well, you never know. One, maybe it's because I said that I'm going to kill it <laughs> and eat it. <laughs> We're not going to. We're not. I'm going to put you back safely. <laughs> Rest of bass. It's good to be not like starving, isn't it? And Gemma's got some crisps we can share. Right then, that was a day of fishing and definitely not catching. <laughs> we didn't catch anything, did we? But it was nice to go and visit Sarinda. Yep. It was nice to go around the wind farm because I've never been over to the turbines before. It's a bit choppy. Um, the weather, the wind has been so bad all week. This is like the first such a calm day that we've had. But I'd say the sea stage is still a bit rough. I thought it was a good day, wasn't it? Yeah, very good. And the weather was nice, it was warm. So we're just heading back to press that and now to put the phones back on the trailer. I go and get something to eat because I'm starving. Unfortunately, well, no fish dinner for Simon tonight. <laughs> right, so we was almost back at home port then, and then Jem was like, oh, let's do some more fishing. So what have you got out now? I've got a lure. A lure? I've got a problem. I've got, look, look, I've got these seagulls. Go away, it's my fish. I've got a really bad feeling he's going to, like, try and catch me lure, and I'm going to catch a seagull today. 
Oh well, a bad day's fishing still makes a great day on the water. It was nice to go and visit Sarinda and see more of the local area. But fingers crossed, next time we go out, we'll catch some fish. Thanks for watching. See you all soon.